I think we can all laugh how recently logos and corporate art styles have taken over and just made everything worse. A year ago, Jay Schlatt made a video pointing this out, how companies would pay millions of dollars to rebrand themselves into just simple sans serif fonts, making them all look the exact same. Logos are meant to be expressive, show what your company does, but instead they all just look like they came out the same streetwear store. The thing is that I love about companies is even though they make billions a year, some of them, they are so insecure about falling off that they're worried that if they deviate from the trend even a little bit, they will completely fall into oblivion. So they see what every other company is doing and just copy each other. Everyone does it, even at the top of the ladder. Another possible conspiracy I have about these rebrands is they make such a disgusting amount of money that they just get bored and they just think, you know what, should we change the logo? Should we make it the worst possible thing just to see if like people even like buy our product anymore? This is like a Twitch streamer pumping about 50k into their setup. They would buy the best PC. They'd buy a red camera for 20k that they use for shooting films. They'd pay a graphic designer thousands to make their setup look the business, but then they only get about three viewers because it's the product that sells, not the logo. But of course, this has not stopped companies from spending ridiculous amounts of money just to slightly alter their logo. And I think today I have found the worst logo redesign by far. This is a 28 page document that came out, I think in around 2009, and it's regarding Pepsi, the biggest rival to Coca-Cola. They wanted to change their logo to appeal to more people, and th this work in progress document, it's unfathomably amazing. I wanted to show you guys something that I had a little bit of a giggle at. L let me, let me get, let me get into this. Let me get into this. I got to explain a, a little bit about, this is before the spooky. This is before the spooky. Doing a little bit of backstory here. So, okay. You know how so many companies keep rebranding their logos? and they will pay millions upon millions of dollars to constantly change their logos for like basically no reason. They'll make a logo that actually looked good and it came out in like the early 2000s. And then afterwards they'll pay like 5 million to get it redone and it is just complete absolute trash, right? So hang on, let's let's have a look at some examples. I mean, here's a good example. Here's a good example. So look at this. You've got MasterCard here, progressively just losing more and more of its design until it becomes so simplistic you can't differentiate it from just a circle. So you got MasterCard there. That was the best one, I think, in 96. And then in 2016, it's just two circles. Great. Basically, I, I think a good example is the Firefox logo. So it ha it was a fox around the earth, another fox, another fox, a fox around a blue circle, fox around a, a bluish purple circle, and then it just melted into the circle. So they, they, they've, they've, they've completely ruined it. They've actually ruined it. They Burger King footletted it. So logos are getting worse, but I found this document that someone posted back in 2008 on Reddit. And this is apparently a leak of the original conception for a Pepsi logo design change. This design is 28 pages and it is the worst thing I have seen in my life. It is, it, I thought this was, I read through this I thought it was parody. Uh, apparently this is from the Arnell group, which is like a design consultation group or something. How do we move from convention to innovation? So apparently their entire concept was moving from something conventional, something safe, and then innovating, building on it. By investing in our history and brand ethos, we can create a new trajectory forward. So they've got convention, innovation, and then they've got DNA. Why do they have DNA in there? The investment in our DNA leads to breakthrough innovation and allows us to move out of the traditional linear system and into the future. <laughs> it's already too confusing. You've got convention and innovation. I get that. And then you've got DNA. And from the Pepsi logo comes the future from the DNA. What does this mean, bro? What does this mean? This is a Pepsi logo. Continued investment provides us with a clear resource for reinvention. Oh, <laughs> Convention innovation, and now you've got another Pepsi. It, what does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. Th this is why I'm convinced you have these executive boomers that are so out of touch. They'll pay some CalArts kid millions just to come up with complete bullshit like this, and they will buy it. It gets better. No, 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 chat. It gets better. It's not funny yet. It gets better. The origins of creative endeavors, universal design principles, and PepsiCo's brand heritage. Breathtaking. Again, <gasps> my breath is stolen. Brand heritage and aesthetics of simplicity. The Pepsi's Ethos has evolved over time. The vocabulary of truth and simplicity is a reoccurring phenomena in the brand's history. It communicates the brand in a timeless manner with an expression of clarity. Pepsi breathtaking builds on this knowledge. True innovation always begins by investigating the historic path. Going back to the roots moves the brand forwards as it changes the trajectory of the future. That means nothing, bro. 
That is words on a screen. That's words, words, words. That's like a twit longer. That, that means absolutely nothing. I've just consumed that entire paragraph and I do not understand what's being said. Breathtaking is a strategy based on the evolution of 5,000 years of shared ideas in design philosophy, creating an authentic constitution of design. This chart documents the origin and evolution of intellectual property. <laughs> this i don't even know what's going on what yo what why am i seeing yin and yang and mona lisa yo what what is this the mobius strip Par parantheon natural golden spiral 300 bc golden ratio oh it's that funny circle meme that everyone thinks looks really good yeah yeah that one the golden ratio and then they use feng shui Berushian principle the art of building the renaissance la geometry literally la geometry Oh, you know what I love? They're comparing all these, these huge discoveries and like art, right? And then 2009, Pepsi. Pepsi introduces breathtaking. I just like how you have the Mona Lisa on the same level as Pepsi. It's just circles, man. It's just, it's just a circle with a funny line through it. Tracing the DNA of Pepsi. The Pepsi DNA finds its origin in the dynamic perimeter oscillations. This new identity manifests itself in authentic geometry that is to become proprietary in the Pepsi culture. <laughs> My guy woke up and he was like, okay, this needs another circle. This needs another circle. What does it mean? What is it? You're drawing circles on the logo. I don't know what this means. You are you are taking my breath away with how dog shit this is. You are definitely taking my breath away. Don't do it again. Don't do circles. Yep, they did it again. I just think they made it and it looked good, bro. I don't think it I don't think it comes down to a circle. Actual buzzword heaven. Yep, you're gonna do it again. Yep. Pepsi Color logo 1920. What are they gonna do? They're gonna add another circle. Wow, that's amazing. What does any of this mean? What are they trying to actually teach? teach you here that there are circles in the logo they were high <laughs> all i'm saying i think they had something else in the pepsi so okay you can't fuck this up okay i thought okay there's only four circles in that one i don't really see how that's a circle more kind of a wave if anything but okay you can really tell that he was just coping at this point the graphic designer was just coping like a pepsi arg 1991 logo there is one circle and you turned it into one two three four five how did you make more circles from this logo than this one. Breathtaking creation of identity, precedence. Artists and architects, saying architects, you're talking about a fucking soft drink logo, have proportioned their work to approximate the golden ratio, especially in the form of the golden rectangle. That's not a thing. That, that, the golden, what is the golden rectangle? I don't get it. I don't, I, I, I genuinely don't get it. I don't get it. It's just, it's, I don't get it. Maths, ma maths, my brain fell off. The golden ratio plays an essential role in humans' perception of beauty. We're comparing like a Greek or Roman building to Pepsi. Leonardo da Vinci studied the proportion of the human face and applied his findings to the Mona Lisa painting. Book format and page. <laughs> Book format and page layout are based on the golden proportion. I've never seen more cope in my life. There's no way. Th this has to be bait. The, the guy who posted this on Reddit, he made this himself. He made this himself. There's no, this has to be bait. Reading this a second time, this has to be bait. Actually true though. Okay, bro, we know you made the document. Get the fuck out the chat. We know you made it. We, you definitely made this Reddit document. Pepsi ratio, it starts with a, they're like trademarking their own thing now. The golden ratio is now the Pepsi circle. It's basically the same thing. What? What? It, what? What? How does it get more confusing? The Pepsi brand is created by intersecting circles with a set proportion to each other. This guy woke up. He woke up. He opened paint. He just thought to himself, okay, so you got this golden ratio, right? So this is the golden ratio here, right? The golden ratio. And then if we intersect it with a uh, bilinear ratio down here and then quantize that with a uh, subliminal ratio, we have to cross-reference the A point with the uh, B point as well. And then intersect B with uh, C down to T. And then if we were to uh, just mark these two down here, I'm going to call this one, uh, okay, th this should be something memorable. Okay, uh, 5CM equals two squared five um fuck off just to get the people's attention we'll do a red arrow like a thumbnail there you go pepsi logo honestly i did this as a bit it doesn't even look that different from the shit on the right it doesn't even look that much worse companies be like i pay five million for funny circle it's just yeah they've actually put they just yoink the golden ratio that actually is like the golden ratio that just that that's a penis that's straight up phallic. You can't tell me that isn't. Creation of identity, dynamic forces, the Earth's geodynamo. You're joking. You are joke. There's no way you're comparing the globe. 
and the Earth's core to the Pepsi logo. A naturally occurring electric generator in fluid motion generates and sustains the Earth's magnetic field. I, I feel like I've accidentally stumbled on like a, an article for like an Illuminati meeting or something. There is no way this is like not ironic. The Pepsi energy fields! The Pepsi energy fields! <laughs> Magnetic fields are impacted by sun radiation and wind motion. Emotive forces shape the gestalt of the brand identity. <laughs> it's opening the Pepsi. Don't open the Pepsi, it'll go flat. How is this real? What is this? Complete mental illness. Zemo, complete mental illness. Multiple points of view, one object. Multiple emotions. Uh, he's he's laughing, he's kind of happy. Now he's, okay, that's kind of intimidating. That's very, that, that picture's kind of intimidating. I don't like that one. He's kind of looking down the ground. He's got a little, little smirk going on. Another little smirk. He's kind of goofy again. No, he's just smiling. He's content. He's kind of tired. Oh, he fell asleep. Whatever they were smoking when they made this, I want some. They must have been laughing their asses off when they handed this to Pepsi. They must have just thought, I cannot believe they bought this shit. I cannot believe it. Creation of identity, a multi-dimensionalized brand. You're not going to make the Pepsi logo 3D. The brand identity is is dimensionalized through motion. Okay, so you made it 3D. You made it 3D. You, you, you printed the logo on a can. We do know what 2D and 3D is. I think everyone in 2009 knew what that was. This is, this is actually like the most pretentious thing I've ever seen in my life. I have genuinely never seen a more pretentious paper. And the fact that they would have paid millions for this as well. It's like when you buy an iPhone, right? And it's like the color black and they won't just say it's black. They'll just say it's like charcoal soul or something like that you know they, they they just add like 17 adjectives and verbs on the end of it gravitational pull they're actually going to start talking about gravitational pull right now the pepsi proposition establishment of a gravitational pull to shift from a transactional experience to an invitational expression you're, you're joking you're actually joking they're comparing the light path of the sun to the earth to how someone in a shopping aisle walks light path of gravitational pull gravitational pull of pepsi okay no this is bait nah 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 that 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 this bit this singular this bit is bait that's not there's no way this is real there is no way that they are comparing the gravitational pull of a of light path to the gravitational pull of pepsi this has to be bait. Relative space and time, Pepsi proposition. It's like, you know, you go into like, you go into like a Walmart or like a Tesco, right? You just see a Pepsi on the aisle and you're just like, it's like a magnet and you're just like a bit of little copper on the floor. You're just attracted to it straight away. Pepsi universe. The universe expands exponentially. One light year equals 671 million miles per hour. The Pepsi orbits dimensionalize exponentially. Honestly, I thought Pepsi man was like, the peak of the Pepsi law, but this this is just something different, bro. This is something very, very different. Pepsi universe, no! I feel, I feel like we're actually, we, we, we've stumbled onto Pepsi law. Pepsi stock is falling. No, they're up. They're up because I'm talking about them. No, they're literally, they're, they're literally up because I'm talking about them. They bought into Pepsi universe. Holy shit, they are up. Wow, Pepsi universe actually taken off. God damn. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I just, I just thought that was funny. I had to talk about that because it was just like, it's just so ridiculous. It is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen in my entire life. I can't do it. I can't take this shit.